the procedures, the books, the lab dates, or the things that uh, I should not uh, do them because if I uh, do them, I waste the money, yes, and medical resources. Okay, here are the five C's of positive youth development. Competence, confidence, connections, characters, and caring. And these are the definitions how to foster it. And why the uh, youth health is important? Because uh, 10 to 24 year old have 1.8 billion people. 24% people in the world, male and female. And it is very, very important that we have medical programs special for them, special medical program for them, yes? And uh, they have a, a very large population, very large groups that we want to have a, a medical program, special medical program for them. And I told you, the sexual transmitted infection, or STI, or STD, is very, very important in these age. And is very, very concept, uh, important concept in health, in youth health, yes? STI is sexual transmitted infection. Sexual uh, transmitted uh, infection, people, who are 50 to 24 years old, I come for half of all new STD infection, half of all new STD infection. Uh, and uh, we want to talk about it. What are sexual transmit infection? More than 30 different bacteria, viruses, parasites are known to be transmitted through sexual contact. Eight of these pathogens are linked to the greatest of sexual transmitted disease of these eight infections. For our currency, curator, syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, and trichomonas. We can curate all them. But the other four are viral infection are on incurable. Hepatitis B. If a person is hepatitis B, can we cure it? No. We just Control. Cannot cure it. We just take medicine to uh, her or him and just balance it. Yes, that's not blur, that's not uh, rise of the uh, omnitranspirals and like this. But it's not curable. That person, that patient, has a possibility for all of the life at, until the end of the life. Yes, but it's not curable. Uh, Heterosyphilis virus. HIV and HPV is like this. It is not curable. We just control it. It is not curable. But syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, and trichomonas, we can cure them if we give uh, the, the patient, uh, administer the patient's medicine. Uh, it is curable and it is not on end of the life. <coughs> Why these uh, infections are not curable? Is there a vaccine for these diseases? Like yes. yes, we have vaccine to prevent here. We have vaccine to prevent. Vaccine is secondary prevention. But if you want to talk about treatment, it is tertiary prevention. It is a disease in early diseases, it's secondary. We can prevent all of the diseases. Uh, STD in any level. For example, if uh, the patient uh, has a multi uh, partner in sexual activity, it is prevention, it is primary prevention. If you talk to your patient, if you consult uh, him or her, don't have multi partner activity, don't multi partner sexual activity, it is a prevention. It is here. Risk factor present, risk factor absence. Yes? But when the disease occurs, and if you have a disease, it is not a still primary or primordial uh, prevention. This is tertiary or quaternary prevention, yes? Body produce uh, antibody against these viral infection or not? Can body produce uh, antibodies against these viral infection? Like right? herpes, this HIV? Translated. I can't understand. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes
इसमें क्या एंटीबॉडी प्रोटेक्शन होते हैं या नहीं प्रोटेक्शन एंटीबॉडी प्रोड्यूस कर रहे हैं या नहीं इन्हें के दरमान निश्चित बरे इन्हें मिसले एचपीवी बरे इसमें एंटीबॉडी हाँ तो लिट मिश या ना दरिंग मार्क अरे यस हाँ एंटीबॉडी but it is not cured. The patients have uh, hepatitis B. All the uh, family must uh, uh, should vaccine. All of them, uh, their partner should use uh, barrier in sexual activity. And just we can uh, control it. We cannot cure it. For hepatitis B, we have to cure labor. Just we control it. They chronic disease. They have chronic disease. Yes. Just but if uh, someone has syphilis, do we administer the penicillin, uh, injection of injection of penicillin, and after that he or she cures? It's not possible. If there is antibody production, then it must be no, 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 no. Antibody protection is not the, all. The antibody protection is not the uh, curator. In HIV, we have antibody. In HCV, we have antibody. HIV, we have antibody. Uh, we take antibody in the body to know that the last patient has this disease. But it is not cure right now. It does not mean it's cure right now. If we inject a monoclonal antibody for this disease? Yes, we have then antibody for all of them. When we want to um, know someone has hepatitis, we check antibody. HBS antibody, HBC antibody, HBE antibody, and antigen, all of them, uh, antigen and antibody too. But it, is, it, it doesn't mean uh, cure label. Antibody just uh, show you that that patient has this disease. But if we uh, inject uh, antibody, antibody produce, yeah. no, uh, just uh, we can administer antibody that we say IV, IG. I V I G that it is antibody in the the ampoule and we can uh, administer to the patient. We can control it. And for the people who uh, have uh, this disease, the administer antibody and I V I G cannot cure them. Yes. For example, in uh, corona, in pandemic corona, uh, if you know, uh, in some people we administer antibody. Yeah, we get from the people who uh, survive from the corona and then administer to people, but it is not very uh, good end and output and it's not successful. Yeah. What is the reason behind that these are uh, not curable? I mean, uh, their replica replication rate is high, are they resistant to any drug? I can't understand translate. Why these are incurable? Ah, why or not? The medical uh, sciences cannot uh, uh, find uh, any ways now it's curable. Maybe two years, three years, four years. In tomorrow we can uh, have the uh, treatment or medical uh, procedure, medical ways to cure them. Yes, but now we cannot, and they are not curable. And in fact, uh, more than 9 million sexual transmitted infections are acquired every day worldwide. Each year, there are an estimated 376 million new infections with one to four STI, chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, and trichoma. The majority of STI have no symptoms or only mild symptoms that may not be recognized as an STI. STI such as HSV type 2 syphilis can increase the risk of HIV aggression. If a patient has one of these STI, for example, hepatitis B, for example, gonorrhea, syphilis, we should uh, Search all of these uh, disease in that person. If a person has hepatitis B, we want to go and check HIV antibody. Maybe he or she has HIV disease, or for example, HSV or HPV, because they link to each other. And STI 
uh, transmitted to uh, Persian, uh, all of them, region, yes? And uh, it is important, SDI, such as interest, BTF2, and CITES can increase the risk of HIV and uh, exam HIV antibody to, uh, to this patient. SDI, such as gonorrhea, the major causes of pelvic inflammation is of PID and infertility in women. Uh, we talk about the uh, sexual development in adolescents. And in uh, your uh, health, we talk about the uh, infertility because this SDI can uh, suppress the growth uh, of sexual development type and can affect it, uh, such as uh, PID, pelvic inflammatory diseases. And uh, each year there are estimated, uh, and the important, one of four STI infections are the common uh, STI, chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, and trichomonas, and uh, all of these uh, diseases are curable. And if we take, detect them early uh, in uh, secondary prevention, uh, we can cure it in tertiary prevention, and uh, we can end uh, to progress uh, to complications, to infertility. Look at this. Pizarro, if we uh, detect it in early diseases and cut this arrow, we cannot, uh, we have complications. And because of this, uh, we can uh, eliminate the disease progress. Uh, and the detection of these uh, diseases and cure them is very, very important because they can have complications. And what is the complications? Infertility in women. Uh, SCI are spread uh, predominantly by sexual contact, include vaginal, uh, anal, or oral sex. Some STI can also be spread through non sexual, such as blood or blood products, which this STI uh, can spread uh, by blood products or blood. HIV. HIV, HIV and. Uh, gonorrhea, no. Gonorrhea is uh, spread by uh, sexual, just sexual. Chlamydia? Chlamydia, no. Chlamydia is sexual. Chlamydia, uh, gonorrhea, trichomonas are sexual. And uh, they have uh, sexual symptoms. Uh, increased purulence, uh, vaginal uh, discharge, and uh, pelvic pain. Mm -hmm. And these are sexual and have effects on uh, the uh, sexual uh, organs, yeah. not a spread in the uh, mm -hmm. all the body, but HIV is spread in all the body and uh, transmitted hepatitis B. Hepatitis B and HIV is spread by uh, blood and can transmit it by non-sexual uh, activity. And it's important for us. Because if uh, someone has uh, HIV, maybe take it from uh, dental procedures. Maybe take it from uh, tattoo on the body. Maybe take it on uh, uh, when the delivery in delivery in labor rooms uh, from the mother to the facts. But the gonorrhea, the syphilis, the Chlamydia, the trichomonas, the RSTI that had, uh, transmitted just for uh, just by uh, sexual activity. Yes, many STI include the chlamydia, gonorrhea, primary hepatitis. This can also be transmitted from mother to child during pregnancy and childbirth. It is uh, a uh, For example, uh, when a baby uh, comes from vaginal, uh, tunnel, vaginal delivery, the eyes, the mouth is uh, near that uh, liquid, that purest liquid, and maybe uh, he or she uh, have, has the uh, conjectival gonorrhea conjectivitis, mm -hmm. or chlamydia pneumonia, yes? And they uh, get this uh, bacteria 
from their vaginal tunnel, mother, their mother, vaginal tunnel. Uh, and, uh, and because of this, uh, we uh, check all of these um, diseases in the mothers when they are uh, pregnant. Because if they have uh, these uh, diseases, uh, they cannot uh, transmit it from mother to uh, her child in the labor time or in vaginal delivery. What are their signs and symptoms? We don't have any obvious symptoms of diseases. Common symptoms of STI include vaginal discharge, urethral discharge, or burning in men, genitalia ulcers, and abdominal pain. Which of these diseases and STI have genitalia ulcers? Uh, uh, is not a uh, vaginal uh, genitalia ulcer. It is a purely ant discharge. And urethral discharge. Syphilis have, yes, and HPV. Now, HPV is very, 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 very common and uh, has a papilloma part on the uh, genitalia, both men and women, both of them. And uh, in the STI, if someone has uh, HPV, must uh, evaluate, should evaluate uh, for other STI, HIV and other. And vaginal discharge, telecomuna, gonorrhea, uh, and uh, chlamydia. And abdominal pain, all of them, all of them uh, that affect on uh, Vaginal restaurant, they can uh, make vaginal abdominal pain and make PID, healthy uh, inflammatory disease. And treatment of STI. Uh, three bacteria of STI, chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis, and non parasitic STI, terpenoids, are generally curable. And uh, single dose regimes of antibiotics. For example, for syphilis, we administer penicillin. For gonorrhea, we administer cefteriaxone, astromycin, mafrolids. And for chlamydia, uh, we use antibiotics. And uh, if the patient uh, administers uh, antibiotics and takes that uh, antibiotics in the duration, in the correct duration, it's curable. But for herpes and HIV, the most effective medication available and multiviral, for example, for herpes, we have uh, acetovir, valacitovir. For HIV, we have retroviral uh, drugs, that is uh, many. And though they cannot cure, just to control them, maybe uh, we now uh, administer these drugs and we cannot uh, see that part or HIV vesicles on them. Uh, vagin vaginal tunnel or on the, the penis of the man. But after one year, two years, again, uh, we show them because it's not curable. Just to control it. And that time, we just control it. And again, maybe we can see that uh, ulcers. And for hepatitis B, immune system modulator, interferon, or antiretroviral medications such as tenophobia, odophobia, these drugs, these oral drugs, can be find the virus and slow damage to the liver. Just control, we control that slowing damage to the liver and the other organs in the body. Uh, again, I tell you that uh, we should uh, detect all the curable diseases in the youth health, in the youth fast, because. It is very, very important if we cannot uh, detect them uh, early, it can uh, make complications for us and uh, uh, serious complications in infertility uh, because of the damage of uh, effects of them on the uh, sexual organs. And uh, vaccines and other biomedical intervention. Uh, for, uh, which of these diseases we have vaccines? For HIV we have vaccines. No. Monorecular media, we have 
can't understand. It's translate. What if the what if a pregnant lady is giving the vaccine? Will the child also have the antibodies? Pregnancy, HPV, pregnancy, all of them, yes. We have uh, vaccines that we should administer in pregnancy. Uh, for example, influenza, for example, uh, tetanus, yes. Uh, we should, for example, corona, COVID-19 vaccines. Uh, for example, hepatitis, if the uh, mother uh, haven't been administered and got it, yes? These are the vaccines, but some vaccines such as MMR, such as uh, HPV vaccine, it is not safe in pregnancy time and you don't administer them. Will the child get the antibodies if we are giving uh, vaccination during pregnancy? Is the child will get antibodies from the mother? Uh, the children uh, got all of the antibodies uh, by vaccines or not by vaccines. When the mother um, have these antibodies, uh, go to children's blood uh, by the placenta. Yes. And uh, yes, when we administer these vaccines for mother in Plumza, COVID-19, um, Tesanus, Yes, this antibody goes to blood, infant's blood, and uh, uh, have protection for us. For example, we administer tetanus for the prevention of neonates of tetanus disease. Yes, because of the procedure in the labor, maybe it's dirty procedure, and the uh, infection come from the umbilical site into the uh, body of the infant. And we administer tetanus vaccine to mother that the infants have antibody from the protection against prevent the and protection the tetanus in the immunate. Yes, all the antibody goes uh, to the uh, blood of infants. This vaccine is inside it? Yes, uh, MMR and all polio. We cannot uh, use all vaccines in pregnancy time. We just can <coughs> administer. Uh, tetanus, influenza, hepatitis B, and uh, uh, influenza COVID-19. For example, MMR is contraindication in pregnancy. For example, HPV is contraindication in pregnancy. You cannot administer in pregnancy time. Yes? It, all of the vaccines is not safe or not safe. Uh, for HPV vaccines, we have uh, four types, uh, HPV type 6, 11, 16, 18, Gardasil 9, vaccines, uh, 9 valence vaccines, and human papillomavirus virus bivalence vaccines. These are very, very important in the adolescents. Uh, time and growth time because the preferred time for these vaccines is the age that uh, is that age is in adolescence time and in youth time. For example, a uh, man or woman uh, who, uh, who uh, haven't been got uh, HPV vaccine until 13 years old, it is not useful after that. Or if it uh, doesn't, uh, haven't been got a vaccine, HPV vaccine, before it starts sexual activity, after that, it is not efficacy. It is not free for efficacy, high level efficacy. It has efficacy, but not high level. Maybe in uh, that uh, sex activity, it's transmitted to HPV, and now the vaccine is not useful. Yes? Uh, and if you see the uh, recommendation, the time of HPV vaccine is routine HPV vaccine at 11 to 12 years. It can be administered starting at 9 years of age in child. Yes? For adolescents and adults aged 13 to 16, 
years who have not reversed the vaccine, we can vaccine them in those parts, in those uh, yes, in those uh, times. Yes, have not completed the vaccine, so yes, cut off vaccination is recommended. For adults, 20, 80 years uh, and older, catch up vaccine is not used in the recommendation because it is not useful. If we administer vaccine here, we waste our money. It is quaternary prevention. Yes, why? If, we, uh, if someone uh, has uh, um, uh, the sexual activity and maybe transmitted this HPV virus, why we administer this? It is quaternary prevention. Yes? If we administer vaccine, this expensive vaccine, it is based on money, based on resources. Yes? Okay. And in uh, United States, uh, for um, patients, for children who is uh, 19, 9 to 14 years of age, we administer two doses of HPV. Should be given 0 and 6 and 12 months. Yes, we administer two doses of HPV 0, 6 to 12 months. And if uh, the individuals initiated vaccine after 15 years old, three doses of HPV should be given 0, 1 to 2, typically 2 and 6 months. Yes, the time is different. Uh, and the dose is different. If we want to um, start the vaccination series uh, before 15 years old or after 15 years old. Uh, 15 years old is the age that we remember it. Do you, uh, have you got the HIV vaccine? No. Because it is not the uh, vaccination free in our program and uh, we didn't get it and if we want to get it, we want to uh, private setting, buy it and administer it. Okay? And uh, what is this? That one.